Hello everyone, this is Zayda Golami from Agmetsoft Research Company and in today's video I'm going to talk about growth function in Excel. So growth function basically is used when you want to predict a value in your data set and you want Excel to fit an exponential an exponential like graph to your data so it's not like linear regression okay so because when you want excel to predict your values what it does is that it makes a regression for your data and then it it predicts okay so that's when your data is something like this and excel can make a linear regression but in here using growth function your data is something like this okay it has um a jump in your data and it fits uh this graph and it's linear it's not it's uh, it's it's not linear it's exponential okay so so um you know that in linear regression or linear relationship between y and x we have um b plus a x okay and then we have the line like this we know that this is b and the slope of this line is known as a okay but in here we have the relationship like this we have b multiplied by m in power of x okay this is the relationship that excel makes between your y and x theta in excel and then it fits the the line with something like this uh, structure and then it can it can predict your fut future variable okay so let's get into excel and let's make an example to see to see how can we work with this function so in here we know that we have x variable and y variable so let's say we have a bank account and then we want to deposit let's say a two thousand dollars in that bank account and we know that this bank uh, makes 10 percent uh, interest rate for each month okay so another thing that i just forgot to tell you is that growth formula and growth function in excel is used when you want to predict a value in the data set when it's uh it has an exponential growth okay so it could be in areas like financial things in statistical things and these kind of things like the the rate of growth of the population etc okay so back to our example we have the interest rate of 10 percent and then we want to predict and this x is time okay so we have let's say we have our formula in something like this we have 2000 which is our initial money multiplied by 10 percent in power of time okay we know that this is our general function but let's say this rate or these kind of things are a little bit it has some tolerance okay because because it's ridiculous that when we have this function this formula we do not need any other predictor okay so 
we want to have the x numbers for time steps of 1 to 6 and then we have y uh, of let's say we have 2000 and then we have 2000 and 250 and then 2000 and 260 2267 let's say and then let's have a fall in here 2000 and okay 2198 and then in here let's have 2280 and then in here we want to predict this one okay so we do not have this formula okay it, it, it is just an example so that you can understand how does this exponential function work okay so in here what we do is that we put an equal mark then we go for group formula double click on that and then it was it wants known y's and this is it, this is necessary okay so we get the known y's and then i put a comma and then it wants the known x's this is optional if you do not inform the known x's it will get this as um, default one two n okay so my known x's are ready in here and then it wants the new x i want to predict for the time of step number six and then it it wants the constant the constant is that b which we multiply that by m to power x um i want it to calculate normally and then you can see the predicted value is here now let's see what has it done I will uh, draw the chart like this and then you could see okay let's draw the chart like this first you could see I had some points okay that I did not have any relationship in between of these points and then what it does what excel does is that it fits this um this line okay it fits the best line that it can find to these these points okay so it can find a relationship you can see that the numbers are Are like this okay so it 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 fits this so it fits this line okay so I guess that's it for today's video I hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel I will see you in the next video and bye